Good morning. Here's a quick refresher on how to turn something in on Google Classroom. So yesterday I showed you that, like I'm in the Social Studies Department and Mrs. Conklin, who is our department chair, is my teacher. So I clicked on my assignment. This is how I got it started yesterday. I add or create. And so if I click this, this is where I'm going to add. And I can set up my Google Doc. Let me show you how we set this up yesterday. Google Docs, and I'm waiting for it. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, look, there it is, and it's got my name in it. So I'm going to open this document, and when I get ready to set up the font, Arial is a great font to use, but I want the size to be different. So let's change the size to 12 point, and then let's go over and change the line spacing. I'm going to look at my little toolbar, and I'm going to look for an icon that looks like this. It has the arrows pointing up and down. That's line spacing. I'm clicking line spacing, and I'm changing it to double. Ta-da! Then, I want you to hit tab one time, and that's when you start typing your paper. Now, once you get everything finished, and it's all good to go, then you're ready to, and you've got your visual finished, then you're able to turn it in. Let me exit out of this and show you how you turn something in. Back on the Google Classroom page, where we have the assignment, you'll see this button that says Turn In. You'll only hit this button today after you have added your Canva or Google Drawing, your visual, to your assignment. And once you do that and you've turned it in, then I will get a notice of it and you will be good to go. Remember that it's due later today. Take care. Good luck.